Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Chris Profi, musically obsessed with vinyl CDs and cassettes. Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Oh yeah! So I made some videos. One was the 60s and five albums. Then I made the 70s and five albums. I've done the 80s and five albums and I've done the 90s in five albums. The one decade that was the most popular was the 70s. So I'm going to do another video. So this is the 70s in five more albums. And what I'll do is I'll link my other 70s video below so you can check that out. And as I've said in all of these videos, these are not necessarily the best albums of the 70s. These are just five albums from my collection to me are sort of epic albums from the 70s. So let's get into it. First off, let's start with some punk and maybe one of uh, the most influential punk albums ever. And I'm talking about the Sex Pistols, never mind the Bollocks from 1977. How many people have covered Anarchy in the UK? I should probably do a video on that as well. But, you know, just the sheer aggressiveness of this album, the snarling vocals of Johnny Rotten, just influenced so many punk bands and, and other bands and other genres. Um, say what you will about the Sex Pistols, but you can't deny the power of that album. Next, we're going to go back to 1970. This album just made it, but I want to show this one. How about the Beach Boys' Sunflower? This has gone down in many people's list of Beach Boys albums as one of their favorites. And, you know, at this point, maybe the Beach Boys could have just sort of gone out doing the beach songs, but they figured they would sort of venture on in some uncharted territory. And with that, they made a killer record. Add some music to your day. Probably one of my favorite Beach Boys tunes. I love... Um, it's About Time, Tears in the Morning, The Ballad Forever, that's Dennis Wilson's ballad, Cool Cool Water, just a great album from 1970. We can't talk about the 70s without talking about the Rolling Stones, and I'm going to show probably my favorite Rolling Stones album from 1972, and that is Exile on Main Street. I love the cover, I love the music, I just love the bluesy hard rock sort of grungy garage sound this this album has you've got rip this joint tumbling dice loving cup shine a light and so many other great albums or i'm sorry so many other great songs from uh, 1972 exile on main street next the singer songwriter big time part of the 70s and i want to represent the ladies and I'm going to go with one of my favorite female singer-songwriters, and that's Joni Mitchell. And this is her 1971 album, Blue. What, a, what an amazing record from top to bottom. This includes two of my favorite Joni Mitchell tunes, and they're probably yours as well. A Case of You, which could be one of the greatest love songs ever, and River, which is uh, the poetry on that song is amazing. So Joni Mitchell's Blue. And lastly, man, this band did some killer records in the 70s. And I'm going to pull this one out, the album that probably saved their career. I'm talking about Rush's 2112 from 1976. This was a do or die moment. Probably should have thought out that wardrobe a little bit more, but regardless... Not, what, not my favorite Rush album, but I do love this album a lot. I don't usually listen to the whole 2112 suite in, in, in its entirety anymore. I usually like to go to the second side. I love Passage to Bangkok, but such a great album. Rush was just everywhere in the 70s. So there you go. Five more albums from the 70s. And uh, like I said, go back and check out my other video. I'll link that below. All right, everyone. Bye.